Hi, this is Alicia Swanson from Teaching and Tapas, and today I just want to give you a little sneak peek inside my uh, close reading passages and activities packs that I have available for second or third grade. So today we're looking at the third grade informational pack. Um, it has 52 reading passages. Each of those 52 reading passages um, include about two pages worth of activities to go along with it that are close reading activities. Um, the way that I have structured it is that there's a page of passages that are, they're all original, they're all um, leveled by Lexile level, and they've been written with the standard in mind. So this passage right here was written with standard 3.1 for informational reading in third grade. And that is the standard for asking and answering questions. So on the first page of activities that go along with this is right here. Um, we're still on standard 3.1, 3.1, where the student is writing three questions where the answer could be found in the text and then they're finding the answer to the question and coloring it. So they're going to go back to the text and show us that they could actually find the answer because that is explicitly what is said in the standards. Um, on the bottom of the first page for each of the standards, or for each of the passages, I have the students going back and this is where they're, it's more of a comprehension section where you're just checking to see that they have the overall comprehension of the of the text. The page two of the activities is where I've spiraled all of the other standards. So right here is standard 3.2, which is where they're describing the main idea, idea and the details that support the main idea in the text. And again, they're going back and finding evidence of that. Here's a review of standard 3.4, which is using basically the context clues. So um, there's an underlined word in the text. They're going back to the text and they're circling the work words that help them figure out the meaning of the word. Here's a review for standard 3.3, describing a cause and effect for how something has, was described in the story. So for every one of... Um, Standard 3.1, I have five passages, so you get to do this same activity five different times. Um, I usually spend nearly a week working on one passage. Sometimes I can do two a week. It just depends on how quickly the students are responding to that standard, because there are definitely standards that are more difficult than others that you need to spend a lot more time on. Um, Something else that I've included is a detailed answer key that goes along with this. And the answer key really is meant to be more um, suggestions for you. Because in close reading, there is going to be more than one interpretation if the text is complex. So, for example, right here, write one word that describes the main idea of the text. Okay, well... I've given you an example of basketball to start with to maybe go back to your students and say, well, what about if we use this word to give you kind of a, a launching point if you need one. And that's the same that throughout with this answer key. For example, here, be sure to insist that your students can explain how this detail supports the main idea, since this is exactly what is expected in this standard. I tried to make it very clear for you to know what you're supposed to be expecting so that you're really getting your students completely ready for any um, standardized testing, but more importantly, for being strong future readers. Uh, I have this product available for second grade and third grade, and each of them have a, um, an informational text section which is about 300 pages long, including the answer key, and then a literature product, which is also about 300 pages long, which of course has all the same five passages per standard, um, 
a page where you're really delving into that specific standard and then the second page where you're um, reviewing the past standards. I hope you like what you see and uh, you can find this in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Just Google or do a search for teaching and tapas. Thanks.